You're about to watch part of an exclusive tutorial that's only available on my product video course on how to achieve the commercial look in your videos. To watch the full tutorial or check out all the amazing content that I've created on teaching you how to create product videos, go to www.productvideocourse.com. Now let's dive into the exclusive clip. Real tequila for real tequila drinkers. The bad stuff is an award-winning tequila. Made in Arandas, Mexico with hand-picked agave and artesian well water by growers and distillers who are as passionate about making tequila as you are drinking it. Learn more at thebadstuff.com. Today we are filming for the Bad Stuff tequila brand and what my client has wanted us to do is they really want to show this gritty look. Very similar to whiskey commercials. And this is going to be another lesson on set design and how important it is. Because of course we could do a gritty look where we just have a wooden background and all that. But we wanted to take it a step farther and really create depth in a whole immersive, envi <laughs> immersive environment. And so tequila, whiskey, and a lot of different distillers and wine, they all distill their uh, alcohol in barrels. And so if we take a step on over here, come on over here, what we're doing is we have set up a barrel. We went to a barrel shop. I have connections with barrel shops and you can have connections too, guys. But what, you, <laughs> what you're gonna do is typically barrels have these on here that are gonna cut. Typically, <laughs> typically barrels have these wooden circles that <laughs> cover the, the tops of the barrels. So when you fill it up, right, you can fill it up with the alcohols and the alcohol is gonna stay in there. But what we have done is we've asked the barrel shop to remove it. This barrel cost us about $100 and this is really gonna set our video over the top comparatively to just having a wood background. So we already have our bottle, which we removed the back of the label, cleaned it, and that is ready to go. Then closer to make sure that the barrel, since it curbs, so that the bottle's not sitting and leaning back like this, right? Because that doesn't look good and it's uneven. I've taken some cardboard and folded it and then took a little bit of gaff tape and made a little platform so it sits right there. And then right behind there, we have now cut out some gold reflective paper like I've shown you guys a hundred times and then used a straw to kind of just bend it to the angle that we want and taped it down. So that's the trick with what we did here to really make this bottle pop. Then right on, we have a rectangular diffusion. We just have one key light that we're working with right now. Then what we have over here, Alex, you're gonna have to come with me, is I saw that, I mean, I saw barrels have these, they're called a bunghole. It's called a bunghole, yes. And barrels have these things called a bunghole and that's where you usually fill in with alcohol. And I thought it'd be really cool to take my 300D with a snoot to get a very high beam. We're gonna have that going in, a very hard light. So we're gonna be using diffusion spray inside here or a hazer so we can get that beam of light because we want it to hit the bottle and I think it's gonna look really cool and just give it that really godly, beautiful look. So that's what this is gonna be doing to set up. We, we're we just right now playing around with all the ideas because while you're doing these complicated set designs, you wanna make sure that it's gonna work, A, but B, you're just gonna kinda wanna play around with things a little bit and set them up. It's been what we started two hours ago to get to this point. And so we probably have another hour before we actually begin shooting. And if you think that's insane, this is only one shot in the video. This is our hero shot. We, we want to set the tone, make a powerful video, and a powerful video takes time, and set design takes time. So just remember that, you guys. Don't rush it, don't get stressed, just enjoy it. And then back here, come on, follow me, bud. Like cribs, yeah. Yep, yep, cribs. This is my crappy crib. So back here, what we've done is we've taken a miniature C stand, and then we've taken a Matthews clamp and what I'm using with the Matthews clamp is to hold this piece of wood because we wanted to get this gold ring of light in the background. And if we had the, we've already tried it out here, this is what took so long, is we tried hanging it out here and it wasn't giving us our gold look that we wanted. So we put it in here and then use this stand and this stand 
um, even though that you can see it because it's a clamp, we're using the bottle to block it. So we have it right here. This tape is just so, as you saw the other one fall apart, for this one not to fall apart. And then we're just gonna adjust it as we go to make sure it's good. And then right here, what we've done is I've got this beautiful flag silk that I bought, and I'll give you guys a link to it. Uh, it's by Westcott, and we're using that to diffuse the Nova, which we put on the warmest white balance that we can, so that it shoots in here and then creates a gold ring around the object. And you can see, well, I'll show you guys in a second what it looks like with and without the diffusion, and how big of a difference it makes just to really smooth out and give like a beautiful light in there. Now what we are in the transition of doing, Alex, follow me back over here, please. Ooh. Yeah, it's okay. This is the course, this is raw and real. All right, so what we're in the transition of doing right now is we really love the shot, but the problem is, is we wanna actually go wider than just the barrel. And if we do that, you can see, I mean, not on this side anymore, but you could see everything in the background because of that golden light back there is just glowing everywhere. It's lighting up everything. And so what we're doing is we're taking Duvetine and foil right here and we're using it to block out and we've done half of it right now we've blocked out most of the barrel and then we need to do it right on the left side as well so when we're filming that we don't see this and i can show as an example as we keep going we have it it's getting very close and i'm loving the look of it so i'll take a photo to share with you guys you can see up in the top left hand corner right there that we can see too much it's completely black there which is perfect but then you can see all the crap that is going on right there. So we're gonna get Duvetine and cover the left side too, and then we'll be good to go. So again, guys, remember, take your time, really think it through and plan out your shots. You're gonna run into a lot of issues when you're doing set design, but you just have to learn how to pivot from there. So our first issue was where we needed to put this uh, piece of wood back there. Uh, if we need it on the outside or the inside, we set it up on the outside and it wasn't giving the look, the look that we were looking for. So we now put it on the inside and we had to figure out how we we're gonna rig that by just Jimmy rigging things together. Using tape, lots of tape always helps. And then our next thing is like, okay, we like the shot and it's possible, but now we have to figure out how to block out all the background so we don't see a bunch of junk. So it looks more like an actual commercial and not just Austin's studio space with a bunch of crap everywhere. So. Real tequila for real tequila drinkers. The bad stuff is an award-winning tequila. Made in Arrandas, Mexico with hand-picked agave and artesian well water by growers and distillers who are as passionate about making tequila as you are drinking it. Learn more at thebadstuff.com. I hope you guys enjoyed part of this exclusive tutorial. If you want to check out the full tutorial, again, the link to my product video course is in the bio below. If you sign up, you can have that and access to hundreds of other tutorials where I teach really awesome tricks and tips and make you up level your product videos today. For the rest of you, if you comment, like, and share below, let me know how you guys like this tutorial and until next time,